Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Have you ever thought about whether there's life after death? I mean, Silicon Valley has been working on the death problem now for years. Soon we might be paying big time to not die, or to freeze our brain, or to transfer our consciousness. Who really knows what it'll be in the end? Dying will become old school. For now, things that live after death still surprise us, and we can't believe our eyes when things come back from the dead or live on after passing. Can't think of any? Well, we have 10 creatures that live after death lined up for you today. But before we get started, why not become an archivist by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us what you would do if you could live forever. Number 10. A Dory Don Squid Squids don't get nearly enough rep for being badass. However, there's a lot of reasons to think twice before killing one. One of them is the Adori Don Squid, well known in Asia and served in a special dish. On the side, you'll find soy sauce that you're supposed to drown the squid in before you eat it. So far, so good, right? Well, after you pour the sauce, the extremities come to life in a way, squirming and dancing on your plate. Think you're hurting him by eating him after that dance show? Don't worry, the squid is long gone, but the nerve fibers react to the sodium in the soy sauce. Maybe a little morbid for the Western world, but quite popular in Japan. Number 9. Cockroaches This might have been on your mind when you first took a glance at this video. The ever-popular cockroach theory. It's not an urban legend after all. The American cockroach specifically is the one that can live without a head for weeks on end. The reason is that since they don't have a whole network of blood vessels, delivering oxygen to its extremities isn't difficult. In the experiment, which would probably be banned now as it seems a bit cruel, the scientists clogged the wound with toothpaste to keep the little creature from bleeding out. Since the head isn't responsible for breathing or even controlling breath, the insect lives just fine without it. Gross, but true. Number 8. Fruit Flies as if fruit flies weren't already annoying enough, now you have to live with the fact that killing them is an issue. They can fly or walk without heads. They've even figured out that if they stay at an upright position, they live just fine. So much so that some even try to mate like this. The good thing is, most female flies aren't really down for the headless thing, so the mating isn't successful. No need for that thought to make its way into your mind. The reason these flies can live like this is that they have a spare brain and organs in their chests. They also have light-sensitive cells in their kidneys, so even without eyes, they know where the light is. Hmm, that'd be almost poetic if it wasn't disgusting. Still fascinating, though. Number 7. Toads For some reason, the word toad sounds a lot less off-putting than frog. Speaking of off-putting, I can't imagine the look on the university student's face when they found a toad in Massachusetts without a head. Not only was it still alive and thriving, it could move, jump, and even attempt a strange croaking sound. Well, we'll pause while you gag. It's okay. There, there. The student was probably fascinated, if we're being honest, and they believed that the toad probably lost its head in an accident. What they really don't know is how the little creature continued to live after its head had come off and died. There's just no explanation. Number 6. Turtle Hearts Humans without hearts can't live long. I mean, physically. Figuratively, I'd argue a lot of humans nowadays live without hearts just fine. Reptile hearts, however, have their own pacemaker cells. If you remove the heart from a turtle, the heart will live on for another five days without a brain telling it to beat. This means that whether the rest of the turtle is there or not, their heart, like Celine Dion's, will go on. For five days, in fact. Can you imagine? Number 5. Snakes A gardener once found out that snake heads can live on after death. As you can imagine, he didn't quite find out in the easiest way. He cut the head off a snake he found in the garden with a shovel. I'm sure he felt brave and accomplished after knowing his human intelligence had beat nature as it was supposed to. However, what he wasn't counting on was the head coming back to take vengeance on the death of the rest of its body. 
the severed head bit the man and it took 26 doses of antivenom to help him. Turns out, severed snake heads can still bite for up to an hour after separation with the body. The worst part? That bite will be worse than the original because it empties its load of venom on you. Munch munch. Number 4. Mike the Headless Chicken Another common tale is that of the headless chicken. Some say chickens will blink or make noises after their heads are cut off. Some say their bodies will pick themselves up and walk around for a few seconds. A few seconds may sound like no time at all, but when you're watching a dead chicken walk, it can feel like hours. Trust me, I saw this as a kid firsthand. They don't just walk, they run, and the adults loved watching us kitties chase them around the yard for a bit. Well, hours are nothing compared to Mike the Headless Chicken, a famous chicken that lived for 18 months without a head after his owner tried and failed to kill him. The rest of his vital signs were controlled by the unharmed brainstem, and its carotid stayed intact. The owner, after realizing the little guy wasn't going to die, continued to hand-feed him through the neck until he died over a year later. Can't imagine you'd get used to seeing that every day. Number 3. Octopus Another strange experiment that leads to interesting answers, but don't try this at home, kids. Just take our word for it. After an octopus's extremities are cut off, they continue trying to feed a mouth that no longer exists. The body, assuming it hasn't died, can actually also regrow tentacles quite easily. So, you could just declare the tentacles independent, draw a new flag, sing a new anthem. They're a whole separate ordeal now. Number 2. Flatworms Ah, worms. For some reason, many cultures talk about slicing worms. Perhaps this experiment has been tried too many times. I think it's the fact that they don't have faces, you know? It makes it easier to inflict pain on something that can't show it's in pain. Quite terrible, isn't it? But unlike the urban myths we've proven right in previous cases on this list, not all worms can survive being sliced. Only flatworms can pretty much turn into twins after being sliced. The part of the worm that lost the most amount of brain and other vital organs will just regrow them, and they don't need a heart or lungs because of their shape. They say on the streets that when faced with a knife, they just scoff. Number 1. Salamanders Salamanders are the ultimate example of creatures that stare death in the face without blinking. Scientists have tried time and time again to cut off extremities and take out organs, and these little guys just keep fighting. They regenerate both limbs and vital organs, making them pretty much exactly what we want to be. Their immune systems take a look at any threat and go straight to work remaking or regenerating even the same exact part that was removed or damaged over and over and over and over. Okay, you get the idea. Thanks for watching. Fascinating info, right? Let us know your reactions to these creatures' abilities to keep going and going and going. Oh wait, that's the bunny with the drum, isn't it? Well, to keep Top 10 Archive going and going and going, please subscribe, click the notifications bell, and give it a like. Thanks.